G'day guys, it's Dave Tran here from Guitar Zero to Hero. Now it's the holiday season, so no doubt many of you will be doing a lot of traveling. If you're anything like me, you probably can't stand to be without your guitar for a couple of days. But you also don't want to be lugging around a big case everywhere and risk damaging your favorite guitar. So in this video, I'm going to be counting down my top five travel guitars. Now when you think travel guitars, what often comes to mind is a cheap, boxy sounding guitar that sounds mediocre at best. There's often the assumption that there needs to be a trade-off on sound for portability, but that's not true, and some of these guitars that I'm gonna show you can absolutely hold their own against their full-size counterparts. So I'm gonna start by introducing each guitar one by one and giving you the lowdown on the specs and main features. Then after that, I'll be doing a side-by-side -side sound comparison of each guitar unplugged, but also plugged into a standard Yamaha PA system to demonstrate its live capability. Now, I'm not gonna be showing you these guitars in any particular ranking order. Each guitar has its pros and cons, so at the end of the day, it just comes down to your own circumstances and what suits you. Let's get into it. The first travel size guitar I'm gonna introduce is the Taylor GS Mini. Now, this particular model is the electric version in a koa wood. In terms of scale length, we have 23 and a half inches and the nut width is 1 and 11 16th inches. Now that means that the neck width is smaller than your full size guitar, so it's gonna be good for people with smaller hands or kids who want to start out in the guitar. Now the electric version of this guitar comes with Taylor's own ESB pickup preamp and it's also got an inbuilt tuner as well, so that's really handy. The Taylor GS Minis come with the premium travel soft case and they start at $499 US for the non-electric version. This particular electric coa version retails at $799 US. All right, second travel guitar on the list is a Cole Clark Little Lady. This particular model is the Little Lady 2 in Blackwood. Now these are Australian made guitars, so I'm very fond of them. In terms of specs, we again have a 23 and a half inch scale length. In terms of nut width, we have an inch and three quarters. So the fretboard plays like a full size guitar. For the people out there with bigger hands, you're not gonna feel like you're cramped. This little lady comes with Cole Clark's very own three-way analog pickup system, which is said to be the most natural sounding pickup you can get. And it also helped them to win an award at the 2018 NAM show for the company to watch. The Cole Clark Little Ladies also come with a premium soft case, very similar to the GS Mini soft case. This particular model retails at about 1500 US dollars, but you can get the Cole Clark Little Lady one from as low as about 900 US dollars. Alrighty, next on the list is the Martin Dreadnought Junior. And this was Martin's answer to the Taylor GS Mini. And it's absolutely beautiful guitar. This time we have a 24 inch scale length and we also have an inch and three quarters nut width. So again, like the Cole Clark Little Lady, it's gonna play like a full size fretboard and your fingers aren't gonna be as cramped if you got big hands. This is the electric model. So in terms of electronics, we have a Fishman Sonotone preamp and the controls are on the inside of the guitar. Now the non-electric version starts from $699 US dollars and this particular model is $799 US dollars. This comes with a soft case as well, but it isn't as nice as the Cole Clark Little Lady and the Taylor GS Mini cases. Alrighty, so next on our list is the Close Carbon Fiber Travel Guitar. Now this thing is a little beauty. It's the smallest by far in terms of body size, but it's a really nice guitar to play, in my opinion. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a carbon fiber guitar, so the body is constructed fully of carbon fiber. The neck, though, is still made out of wood. And the reason why they've used carbon fiber is because it's an extremely durable material. In terms of specs, this guitar actually has a full scale length of 24 and 3 quarter inches even though it's got the smallest body out of any of the travel guitars I'm talking about. The nut width is an inch and 11 sixteenths, so the string spacing is gonna be a bit smaller, so better for small hands and younger players. The non-electric version starts at 599 US dollars, and the electric version starts at 699 US dollars. Other really handy thing about this is that you can actually detach the neck as well. There's just four bolts here and you can unscrew it 
and then pack it into your bag. In terms of a travel guitar, this is actually really, really portable and really durable. You won't really have to worry about it much and you can bang it around. For the price, the closed carbon fiber doesn't actually come with a soft case. You need to add that on for an extra, I think $50 or so, but um, it's just a typical standard soft case. The final travel guitar I'm gonna be comparing for you today is the Journey Instruments OF420. The most unique feature about this guitar is the fact that you can take the neck off as easily as that. The other great thing about this travel guitar is that it comes with a really well thought out travel bag, which packs everything up into a really neat case. So it's gonna be really great for flying. In terms of specs, we have a 24 and a half inch scale length. So it's a little bigger than most of the ones I'm comparing today. And the fingerboard width is one and three quarter inches. So again, it's gonna feel like a full size fretboard, which is great. In terms of electronics, this comes with Journey's own pickup system. Now it's very basic, it doesn't have any controls, so you can't control volume or tone. This particular model retails at 629 US dollars, and it also comes with an awesome travel case.
Now that you've heard each guitar in action, I'm just going to quickly recap the highlights from each model. Now starting with the GS Mini highlights, I will say that this guitar, in my opinion, is bang for your buck. It sounds great, it has built-in tuner and pickup, and it's just a really well-built guitar. Now the size of this guitar is going to be really great for people with small hands. So this is going to be great for beginners, for kids, but I would caution people with bigger hands or thicker fingers as you might feel a little cramped on the fretboard. And the Martin D Jr. is just a beautiful looking guitar. It's got a warm tone to it and it's got a full size nut width so it is comfortable to play for the people with bigger hands out there. For those who love the classic Martin Dreadnought shape but want something a tiny bit smaller to travel around with then this one's for you. For the highlights of the Cole Clark Little Lady, it's got a very comfortable to play fretboard with the full size nut width. It definitely has the most superior plugged in live sound. And in terms of tone, I think this one's just the most crisp in my opinion. So I would recommend this for perhaps more professional musicians who play in a live setting a lot or those who are looking for a really clean and crisp, unique sound. Now for the closed carbon fiber guitar, of course, one of the main highlights is the fact that it's made out of carbon fiber, making it extremely durable. In their promos, they actually use this as a canoe paddle, as a baseball bat. This thing is really, really tough. So you won't have to worry about taking it with you and it getting damaged. Because it is made out of carbon fiber, it won't be affected by humidity as well, which is great. Also add the fact that you can take the neck off and pack it into your suitcase and it makes for a really, really great travel guitar at an affordable price. And finally for the Journey OF420. Now this almost feels like a full size guitar and it's got the weight to it as well. The fretboard plays like a full size guitar, but the main thing about this is the fact that you can take the neck on and off as simply as that, making it really, really portable and easy to travel with. At the end of the day, this is gonna be really great for those people who like to fly around a lot and like to travel a lot. This guitar packs up into a case which is really compact and you can just put it in your overhead luggage if you're taking a flight. So there you have it guys, my top five travel guitars. What are your thoughts though? What did you think was the best sounding, the best looking, had the best features? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.